creation of a dio <laughs> zone TM ion is really confusing. So the this here, this nitrogen complex, you know, nitrogen oxide, uh, it gets protonated, so the leaving group then occurs, you know, it becomes positive, and then this positive will obviously have to leave, right? So the H2O comes out, and this is left with a positive charged, all right? So this nitrosonium ion will now react with this uh, amine group. So this amine group is going to donate its, well, its uh, electron pair to this nitrosonium ion. And once that happens, you have the N nitrosonium ion complex because this is still uh, positively charged. Okay, since it's positively charged, it has to take out this hydrogen. It'll do that. It'll deprotonate its hydrogen by getting water to accept it. So once water has accepted it, it's going to be left with this kind of uh, acidic formula. So the strange formula, this thing called the nitros nitrosamine, nit nitrosamine is going to go through a tautomerization phase. So this is going to become, this H is going to be removed, it's going to be cleaved off. Wait, sorry, it doesn't have to actually be cleaved off. We're just going to say that an H group forms here somewhere. Although cleaving off makes it much easier to understand. Um, yeah, so it'll become a diazeniol. This is going to become an alcohol. This is cleaved off. And once that happens, this uh, OH group is going to at attach itself with a hydrogen because, remember, there's a acid up here, right? So once that occurs, you have a, this positively charged oxygen. It's going to come out, and as a result, this thing is going to become positively charged. So the remaining uh, double bond to nitrogen is going to give donate well, another bond, and of course that'll leave it positive, and you'll have a diazonium ion with, I guess, the stabilized uh, anion here. I hope that's easy to understand. That's this the best diagram I could find out.